Crusaders and welcome to another edition of Batman, the animated series podcast. I'm your host, Alex Robson, and with me as always is my co-host, my brother, comic book artist and writer, and the jingle to my bells, it's Mr. Will Robson. Say hello, Will. Yeah, jingle to my bells, I like that. Hello. Happy Christmas! Happy, happy Christmas. It's my favourite time of year. Lots of presents and fun. dee 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 do. That's a new one. I've not heard that one before. Christmas time, Christmas time, Christmas good for you. It's Christmas time, so I'm at my peak happiness, so I will probably not be a grump in this episode like hey! I usually am. You should listen to this beginning every time you're feeling grumpy to remind yourself that there's one time a year where your heart grows three sizes that day. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, well, you know what I also love is Christmas with the G. All right, I've got some really cool fun facts about this episode. Would you like to hear them? Of course. Okay, first fun fact. Joker waves goodbye to Charlie Manson when escaping Arkham Asylum. What? Charlie Manson's in this? Charlie Manson has a cameo in Arkham Asylum. Does he have a swastika on his forehead? No, he doesn't. I, I when I read this, I looked, but he's got like shaggy hair, the big beard, and I was like, "Yeah, that you so could." Charlie Manson's canon in the Batman the Animated Series <laughs> yeah. universe. Yeah, I feel like the sixties haven't even happened in the Batman the Animated Series universe. That's no, but it's a timeless thing, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, a fun little cameo. Tim Curry originally voiced this Joker episode, so Hamill had to match his voice to the already completed animation. Uh, the giant tin soldier. And the Joker statues with machine gun fingers are used in the adventures of Batman and Robin video game, which came out in 1994. Oh, fun. The Christmas tree from a Charlie Brown Christmas can be seen in the background when Joker rides up on the sleigh. So that's quite fun as well. The taxidermy horse that pulls the Joker's sleigh on TV has a single tree branch tied to its forehead, which is supposed to represent it as a reindeer, but also supposed to look like Hmm. the dog Max in How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And this is the only episode where the Joker doesn't wear his trademark purple suit. Instead, he wears a red sweater with a green turtleneck. Yeah. So yeah, let's get your thoughts. What did you think of this episode? Well, there's lots I like about this episode, but there's also lots I I think are just fine. Yeah. This is clearly Kevin Conroy not finding his Batman yet. Robin, Operation Cause and Effect. Yes. It felt very Batman 66, didn't it? Yes, it does. The funniest line in this is, is like, it's a wonderful life. He's like, I never never get past the title. Like, yeah, Batman saying that is very funny. Yeah. I love Joker when he's on TV and he's got merchandising up the wazoo of everything is so branded joker and he's controlling the television and stuff him having his own christmas special in the style of like something bing crosby or dean martin would have makes a lot of sense it's awesome i I love all of that i love you i love you i love you there's 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 just a there's something missing it's not quite this show that's what it is you know what it is this is the first time i'm like oh this is a children's cartoon yes this is you know what so i was watching it with my girlfriend because i really love my girlfriend great girlfriend and she's like this is really cute and uh, like that's nice but you know i know that that's not the feel of the show and the episode does get a bit darker as it goes on and like you were saying like when he's she's like my mother's on that train like that's a great scene yeah absolutely but the beginning with them like patrolling the streets of gotham and then there's that what he thinks is a mugger but he's like hey lady you dropped your purse well, and, yeah, that's big like this. oh yeah wow. that's what it is yeah i, I, wait, think, wait, I, I think it drops your bag yeah that was really funny gotham felt small in this you know what mm-hmm. i mean like it it felt small but also more like it looked more like metropolis it didn't look like the gotham that we had seen in on mm. leather wings but yeah i guess this is early days episodes where they're the animators are trying to find their their look and feel the voice actors are trying to find their their feel to the the voice but it is strange when you know on leather wings is so batman the animated series and knocks it out of the park on yes. so many different levels to then have like a kidly wink episode is very weird and the first time we see robin as well as the Joker mm. in this. And like, I mean, they do have Robin's origins later on, but they're not like, let's, we have to do Robin's origins in order to explain why he's here. It's just like, yeah, this is just Batman and Robin. Like, doing And look, there's great stuff. The idea of Robin just wanting to have a, a chill Christmas, watch a movie and like enjoy the holiday with like his now family is so Dick Grayson. And I love that. 
Yeah. And then, then that Bruce would be so like, man, like, you you know, uh, wanna... Scrooge. Yeah, 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 exactly. He even says like, yeah, you can give Scrooge a run for his money. And then the, in the end that he sits down and watches the movie. I, it's brilliant. That's, that's good storytelling. It is. Yeah. And I think mm. Paul Dini is one of the story editors. And I'm wondering if he was like part of that, like, let's bring this full circle. Because I can obviously... see Paul Dini bringing in the, it's a wonderful life. Yeah. I can see him doing that. Because the rest it. of it's like very, it's almost like I'm playing with action figures as a child because it's like, this yes. is a Joker rocket and like Joker's like sending out airplanes and oh, now we've got like giant nutcrackers and stuff like that. And It's very um, Fleischer Superman actually as well, like yes. kind of those situations, yeah. And um, there's a lot of stuff that makes sense to me, like his extra cape. Where the fuck did that come from? Oh yeah. When, when that, Batman set up point. a fake cape so that the people would shoot it. And then Batman appears out of nowhere, full on with a cape. And I was like, is he just dual wielding a cape this whole time? Yeah. And then and then seconds later, he grabs Joker, who also slips off an extra jumper connected to the gloves. And underneath, he's got jumper and gloves. I'm like, everyone's dual wielding in this universe. <laughs> yeah. It was just Christmas. It's hey, chilly it's, out. It's cold out. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, you need, you need double layers. Do you also notice they use batarangs with ropes and not grapples in this? Mm. There was no grapple gun in this. And I was like, that's super interesting as well. That's very 66, because that's what it's they used to have in that show. Weird, like, splitting between Batman fighting giant robots to then suddenly two guys just show up with Tommy guns going like, dagger, 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 dagger. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. crazy. I love Alfred, where he's like, well, the, the Christmas, Christmas goose, goose will be, be ready, ready shortly. shortly. And he, uh, he just gets ignored. No one's like, thanks, Alfred, for making us a <laughs> Christmas right. meal. Fuck all of you, then. <laughs> <laughs> but also mark hamill is just not funny in this episode like and just annoying really i and think he is and he isn't it's not scary either later on he becomes that perfect blend of funny and frightening don't touch me old man i don't know where you've been <laughs> but here yeah he's just an annoying guy just yelling at the screen making terrible jokes i can see why you're a fell comedian like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So the music, we love talking about the music. And like, especially you've said that this is on a lot of your Christmas playlists. What do you think about the Joker theme? We hear this for the first time, but it's mixed in with like Christmas and mm. game show as well. I love that. I love combo. the music. As I said, it's on, it's on my family Christmas playlists. Every time it comes on, we always have a good time. Especially when it goes to the game show bit. That banana, 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 banana. Love that so much. Uh, Gordon calls Joker, you diseased, diseased maniac, maniac, which is what Superman addresses Lex Luthor as in the Superman film. You diseased maniac. And then also, my, my mother's, mother's on that, on that train, train is just like Miss Tessmarker in the Superman film as well. When Lex, my mother lives in Hackensack. Oh uh, my god! The same thing. So there's two tie-ins there. I noticed from the that Superman sounds to film. me like uh, it's one of those things that you you're accidentally plagiarizing something because you're you're just writing like a, a superhero thing. And yes. Your brain's like I've got some old knowledge here stuff. Yeah, exactly. Um, what do you think of the whole train sequence then? Like with obviously the bridge being blown out. When the train crashed, there was just no music at all. It was just a silent yeah. shot of the train falling and then just exploding. I thought that was, I noticed that too. I was like, that's where you have the big like music drop there. My wife pointed out as well, like he chucks the uh, conductor out the window and then just leaves him. He's not like, are you all right or anything? Uh, no. He's just, just leaving him in the snow on Christmas Eve. Like, yeah, oh, bye. that's true. Um, I laughed pretty hard when Batman and Robin were just running around the field as the giant cannon was firing at them. I was like, that's the thing. My suspension of disbelief broke a lot where I was like, he's got like little planes, cannons, like robots with, with like those were useless those them. those robots were with the finger guns all robin did was just duck and they just shot one another i was like that was it a reminds useless... me of nightmare before christmas that at the oh end. yeah that's true that is the just like that the finger guns yeah so the nutcracker sweet music with all the killer toys uh, like an evil santa's workshop that's what i thought it was and i thought that it was kind of like fun. a big boiling vat of acid yeah, well, again, Joker's, yeah, as you said, you suspension of disbelief is broken quite a lot uh, for everything like this. I was like, how the fuck did he organise all this? He, he escaped on a Christmas tree and then suddenly, like, everything is hooked up. Big also, time. did you notice that Batman stopped Joker from falling in a vat of acid this time, which I thought was a nice little, like, he stopped. Well, he's not going to let him die. No, but that's how Joker was created, obviously. Mm. Batman couldn't stop him from falling in the vat of acid. So I thought that was at least something that maybe they were going for in the in the writing there's things i do like about it but there's also things i don't like about it like batman hitting toys with a bat and robin going they don't call you batman for nothing 
If I was Batman, I'd be like, I'm going to beat you with this bat now <laughs> because that's not dick, what my name just, means. Just, just ah, fucking dick. The one thing I really did like, though, is Joker even goes out his way to wrap a gift for Batman and it's got bats all over the wrapping paper. Mm. I was like, oh, that's nice. He considered him when he was wrapping that gift. I did but laugh Bat- when it was a pie. Me too, but Batman cleans the pie off himself like so easily. You know what I mean? Like I was like, is his suit pie proof? I, I get that they they had to add that in for continuity so that next time we see Batman, he's not covered in pie. But like you could have just done like, I don't know, what put two hands on his face and just wipe and it all down. It off. Yeah. But he's literally like one wipe. Wax on, <laughs> wax off. Like <laughs> two it takes three. His time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he does. And then at the end of the episode, Bruce sits down to watch It's a Wonderful Life, and he says it has its moments, which I and did Alfred like. And brings them like an orange drink, and me and my wife were like, what the fuck are they drinking on? Oh, What's I didn't even night? know. I didn't know. my that. wife was like, Negroni? I'm like, well, he wouldn't be drinking alcohol. And, no, and I guess not. Dick is too young to drink. But it was like, I was like, what, Fanta? Like, what is this? Yeah. But I do like when it cut to Joker just singing in a straight jacket in Arkham and singing Christmas themes and like the music kind of hits as he's singing it. Mm-hmm. I thought that was fun. And we even see the uh, red sky for the first time as well, coming through the bars because we didn't have a red sky in Le- on leather wings for Gotham yet. Well, yeah. I mean, we have, you have it in the intro though. Oh yeah, I guess you do. Yeah. You do have the red sky in the intro. All right. So yeah, that's, that's Christmas with the Joker. As, as you said, it has its, its moments, moments, but the show's just not quite there yet from mm-hmm. what we know. But it's a it's a fun Christmas episode, isn't it? Like we watch, I watch it every year. I don't know if you do. No. Um, but it is it is fun to watch, and I'd rather watch the other Batman animated series Christmas episode when Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn kidnap Bruce and and make him buy a bunch of presents. That's yeah. That's the first episode of the the new yes, right. animated. And there's three stories in that which I really like. There's three mm-hmm. mini Christmas stories. There's a Clayface one, isn't there? Ho ho ho! Mother. Clayface. There's Clayface one with Batgirl and yeah, yeah, and, and um, Bullock. Yeah. And then uh, the other one, and the other one is it's the other one when it's the really is, lovely thing of yes, with uh, when they always sit down and have a cup of coffee together. Yeah, Batman and Gordon, Fuck I love that. Hell. Yeah, that's really cool. Just kiss. Mwah. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, and I love that because Joker hands out a bunch of like clown masks and everybody is dancing New Year's Eve and he's like, mm. they're all going to die with smiles on their faces. And I was like, that's so Joker and yeah. just so fun. Yeah, that is a That is a good episode. That's better than this one. But still, this was Christmas for the Joker. And we hope you all have a happy holiday and enjoy your time off with loved ones. Hope you're with friends. Holidays. And... Well, that's all the time we've got for. Join us next time. We'll continue talking all things Batman the Animated Series. Uncle Billy <laughs> locked his wheelie down the highway. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin lays an egg. Uncle Billy lost his wheelie, hold him out of way. Oh!